Okay, welcome back everybody. So today is the first day of JavaScript uh, lesson or training, you may call it. Uh, so uh, uh, let's see what we have on this uh, <clears throat> slide. As you can see, I put some uh, outlines over here, some uh, outlines or topics we may cover today. Uh, we did the introduction, so now we know each other, so that's great. And uh, the second is why JavaScript, why you need to learn JavaScript? What's the importance of learning JavaScript? I think it's good to answer this question. Uh, is there anybody who can help me maybe to answer this question? Well, JavaScript uh, helps making like web pages more interactive and responsive. Mm -hmm. You can create it's a programming language compared to well, HTML and CSS. So uh, it's you can make within the web page uh, applications as well. That's true. So using yeah, as she said using JavaScript, you can create actually contents, dynamic pages. Uh, you can develop anything you want. You can develop game, you can develop application. You can do almost anything you can. Most importantly, you can make websites dynamic and interactive. Sometimes when we say, what does that mean dynamic? What does that mean interactive? Actually, you can interact with the website. When you click something, you can see different uh, a different thing, uh, or you can see different output. So that's actually one interaction. It could be using a button, or it could be anything which can be clicked or hover, and that's actually interaction. Or it will be able to take data from the user. So you handle that data using JavaScript. Of course, there should be uh, some uh, backend uh, technology which can store the data. Uh, whenever we say dynamic, actually, uh, dynamic page, uh, you see something, but when you click, another uh, content will be displayed. So that means dynamically a content is uh, created or changing. Uh, so then what's JavaScript? I think I can just answer this uh, for you to, to make it a bit quicker. Uh, JavaScript is just a programming language that we can use to develop websites. Yeah, and as we said, it makes the website more interactive and dynamic. And then we will talk uh, and we will see how we do the setup. We just need only a browser and VS code, we don't need much. And then we uh, start writing JavaScript code. Maybe today we talk about variables, com comments, data types, operators, and maybe also conditionals if we have time. Okay, what's the requirement for this course? Do you have this? If you don't have, don't worry. But if you have HTML and CSS knowledge, basic, very basic, it would be good. Do you have the motivation? Ask yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's so silly right here. Uh, okay, anyway, it's, it's, it needs motivation. is the motivation to spend more time to learn by yourself. Yeah, after, after the course, after the lesson. A browser, it is easy to download. You may have already Chrome. I prefer Chrome. And at least for this course, let's just use Chrome to make our life so easy. And of course we can use Firefox, but I am really in favor of Chrome browser. Code editor uh, for this course also, I prefer uh, VS Code. And most of you have this, I believe. And the tools, of course, you should have the computer. Yes, if you didn't have the computer by now, 
uh, it, it would be impossible for you to have this the Zoom and to attend this lesson. So you have internet connection and the browser, and we don't do any design here. Just I brought this slide from the web de development, so we don't have to worry about. But at some point, it's good to know this Figma skill because it allows you to develop some uh, uh, prototype or uh, design before you start uh, developing your application. Uh, code editor, we will install. Uh, GitHub, if you have a GitHub, I mean, uh, a Git knowledge, it would be nice if you don't have, it's okay. But I would recommend you to have, okay? Yeah, from the very beginning, it's very good to have. Yeah, the setting, uh, the, set, uh, the setup is going to be, we need uh, VS Code and Chrome, so easy. Uh, we install uh, VS Code and Chrome, and that's what we need actually. Yeah, VS Code to write your code. So when you write your code, it, it looks like this. And actually the Chrome browser render this HTML and uh, display something like this, yeah? So, uh, VS Code is actually just uh, uh, an application that allows you to write a uh, code and the browser render this and uh, display a human readable, beautiful page. And then this is JavaScript code, a snippet of JavaScript code. As you can see, it is so easy to read. So console.log means just print. Hey, print hello world, and it's print for you. And even this console.log actually takes different argument. Uh, for instance, we break this hello world and exclamation mark separately, and you get the same output. COVID 2019, yes, I just put this COVID. Yes, you know what it means, COVID-19, and it print the COVID and the number. Console.log, and just, it, it's also possible to print numbers. This is a comment. Comment means uh, in programming, something which is not going to be executed, but it allow us to write actually uh, some information, remark, or to make the code readable more easy to read or even easy to use uh, for some time later. Because once if you write a code, it will be an alien for you after a month or two. As you can see, this is basic art arithmetic operation like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and this is division modulus. That means the remainder. So. When you divide three by two, the remainder will be one, right? And three, the power of two. Whenever you have two star, that means power. Three, the power of two, that's eight. So notice the difference between this and this. Okay, this is how we declare variables. As you can see, for instance, you say first name. As you can see, the first name was written like an upper, uh, as a camel case. Camel case means there, it, there are two words, first name, uh, and the second uh, word starts with an upper case. We call this camel case. First name is and last name, actually, what does that variable means? Variables are actually containers. So this first name is actually a container that allows to store this name. Okay, last name is also another container that allows to store this. So whenever I want to print or get the value that was stored here, I can get it. So that is a variable. So variable could be a string, a name, or it could be a number, or it could be a Boolean. So we will talk about that data type. You don't have to understand what I'm talking here, guys. I'm just 
giving you, and then we can even write uh, JavaScript code on the uh, prompt, uh, the uh, a command prompt or the CMD. Now this is the code editor, so th that was written. So th this is how it looks like the VS code. Oh yeah, now it is time for break. And after the break, I will give you uh, 15 minutes to talk about this, to discuss about this. And then after that, uh, we will start the coding. Yeah, that's let's code. Of course, after the discussion, we should do that practically. But before that, uh, I want you to answer this question by yourself and we will answer also this together. That's how it goes. I think now let's have a short time uh, break.